friends, welcome back to art class. For today's art lesson, you are going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a black marker. We are going to start a two-part art project, and today we are going to do the drawing part. We are going to draw a reindeer. The first thing that I want you to do is turn your paper so that it's the long way up and down. Grab your pencil and we will get started on the drawing. The first step for the drawing is to draw an oval that takes up most of our paper. So I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna draw a nice big oval right in the middle of my paper that takes up almost all of that paper. The next thing I'm going to do are draw the eyes in the middle. For the eyes, I'm also going to use an oval shape. So I'm gonna draw one oval on the left and another oval on the right. Now for the nose of my reindeer, I'm gonna do another oval, but I'm gonna twist it so that it goes the long way side to side like this. So I'm gonna draw one big long oval at the bottom of the face for the nose. After I'm all done drawing the nose, I'm gonna draw the ears. Now the ears are going to be like a curvy triangle shape. So I'm gonna start on the right side of my reindeer's head at the top, and I'm gonna draw one curvy line like this. And then I'm going to keep it pointed at the ends, and I'm going to draw another curvy line to the head. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Draw my other pointy triangle. After I do the outsides of the triangles, I'm going to draw that same shape on the inside for the inside of my reindeer's ears. I'm going to draw that same curvy triangle shape. I'm going to fix this one a little bit. There. All right, after you're all done with the ears, we are going to draw the antlers. The antlers are those pointy things on the top of the reindeer's head. So I am going to draw one big long line at the top. I'm going to draw two, sorry, two long lines up at the top. And then I'm going to draw some lines that poke out of my antlers. So I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. Awesome. Before we move down to the neck part of our reindeer, I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to draw some pupils. The pupils are those dark circles inside of the eyes. You can choose to for your reindeer to look whichever way you want. So mine's going to look up like this, I think. And there are my pupils. All right, the last part that I'm going to draw is down at the bottom. I'm gonna draw the neck. So for the neck, I'm just gonna draw two straight lines like this. But we don't want his neck to get cold, so I'm going to add a scarf. To add a scarf, I am going to do a square shape on top of the neck. Now you can see that the lines from my neck are still going through my scarf. So I'm gonna use the eraser on my pencil and erase the neck from the inside of the scarf. Like that. And then I'm gonna show my scarf blowing in the wind to the right side. So I'm going to draw one rectangle and then another rectangle underneath. And then I'm going to draw some short lines at the end of my scarf for the tassels. If you want, you could do a design on your scarf. You could put some stripes, you could put some polka dots, you could draw a zigzag line or a curvy line, you could draw some flowers or some rainbows, whatever kind of scarf you would like to create. After you're all done with that part of your scarf, you can put your pencil down and grab your black marker so that we can trace our drawing. When you take your black marker, you're gonna draw on top of your pencil lines. We've done this a lot, so hopefully you're a pro at it by now. Remember, we trace over our pencil lines so that our drawing stands out after we add color. I use my black marker a lot, so it's starting to run out of ink here. If you don't have a black marker at home, you can always use a black crayon, you could use a black colored pencil, or just a dark color to outline your drawing. 
We don't want our pencil lines to disappear after we add color, so any dark color to outline it will work just fine. Now there are a lot of pencil lines in this drawing, so make sure that you don't forget any. Don't forget to trace all of the lines in your scarf, all of the details in your face. Awesome. After you're all done tracing your reindeer in a marker, you are all done for today. The last step for you is going to be to take a picture of your reindeer drawing and you need to upload it to Seesaw. Make sure that you hold on to this piece of paper for next week because we are going to finish this project next time that we are together. Make sure you take that picture, upload it to Seesaw, hang on to this for next week, and I will see you next time. Have a great week, friends.